Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Palace Theatre in South End, please welcome Mr. Russell Cage! Watered down by battle, don't we? <laughs> we do some jokes about your cock. And uh, all the people from the game. We're in Westcliff, actually, not South End. Just misjudged the area. <laughs> people watching at home, there is a divide. There's South End, and then there is Westcliff, and then and then there is Chalkwell. Come, come. Oh. Even though we still speak a bit like morons, we make a bit of an effort when we're in Chalkwell and that. Thank you very much. I'm not being funny. At the end of the day, I do live overlooking the sea and the estuary and that. And, uh, the people from Chalkwell, who's mocking us, heckling with a quail's eggs, if he likes that. Take that, you brute. With a tomato. That's sunblast, you pikey mofo. Do you want that in the face? Do Take that. <laughs> south end, south end, south end. <laughs> he used to come here every weekend. My dad's from this area, he's from Lee, and then Barking. Then I did a bit of growing up in Enfield. Now I'm back here, living in Westcliff. And you bring friends down to party in South End, you have to see South End High Street. And it freaks people out, people with the traditional Essex walk, walking down. <laughs> that's created by the pigeons on the High Street. Got a fucking state of those, Gary. That's what created, that's how we've evolved the Essex neck. Some people actually fracture it later in the... I'm just going to have to sit at Lee and watch all the ships coming with the Jewish people. I can't... <laughs> what a strange accent. We've moved out to the estuary, got a bit more space built walls around what we own and that, think we're a little bit better than the Londoners, what we generated from, right? <laughs> Trying to sound a bit more posh in that. Come through, see the extension. Why don't you? <laughs> oh, we put a gazebo in, and it? It's pronounced gazebo, right? It's not Gary. I looked it up on Wikipedia, right? <laughs> the London accent, you can tell the Essex accent, someone from Essex is angry with you. They will shout when they're angry with you. It's the, this is how you tell it from the London accent. London accent is unique in that it's only scary when it gets polite. The only accent in the United Kingdom, the Cockney accent, you actually want a Cockney to be a bit aggressive. Not I mean, mate, cheeky punch, leave a bruise, right? <laughs> but the moment a Cockney gets a little bit polite, yeah, or even worse, courteous, <laughs> you start to shit yourself, mate, don't you, right? <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? I'm your mate, I ain't gonna stab ya. Come in. What are you shaking for? He's shaking. Don't shake, come in, come in, put the kettle on. Put the kettle on. Oh, yeah, please don't stab me, don't. And the Essex accent, because we've made, we haven't fixed it properly. It's not like a posh accent. You know, we've got tightness in our accent. But the posh accent is tight all the way through. Tight at the end, tight in the middle. I'll never know you, you'll never know me. Clean my house, go back to Poland. Right? <laughs> right? We've been left with a paradoxical accent. We've got all of the fat, moronic vowels of a London accent, but with a clipped camp precision at the end of our words. Meaning we sound like total fucking idiots, but really mean it quite clearly, right? <laughs> We've got all of the vowels, all of the vowels for the whole United Kingdom are stored in the estuary there. Do you want a Zamboka? <laughs> Kelly. Do you want a Zamboka? <laughs> Doing beyond a skip, Kelly. Doing beyond a skip. Where's your pride? <laughs> Where did we get the vowels from? We stole them. We stole them from Wales in the Middle Ages. Let's get some more vowels. Quickly, we're going to run out. I need a Zamboka. Across the bridge. Take your £5.60, you prick. Right? <laughs> Back across. See you later. Uh, we've got all their vowels. They're just left in Wales going... <laughs> <laughs> My dad, unfortunately not here tonight. My dad, I don't look nothing like my dad. My dad, 16 stone, shaven-headed, hard as nails, Essex, hard nut bastard, right? Recently got his triple ripple of Essex fat between neck and head. Look at that boy. The triple ripple, no problem. Want me to carry a brick? Put it in my triple ripple, that's right. <laughs> Even the man's urine was oppressive. How can a man's wee scare you? But do you remember that dark yellow dad wee left in the night? <laughs> Terrifying. Almost orange with a film on it. What is it? <laughs> A seagull in it. Ah, ah, ah. That's your dad. Discharge you're in retreat, leave for sun display. Right. It's <laughs> yeah. my mum up there watching. Nice one, Russ. That's my boy up there. Looked it up on her PC earlier. Got my mum a PC. Anyone, uh, young people in the room, bought their mum a PC where they want them to get online? My mum cried with the generosity of it. He's bought me a PC. I can't believe it. 
And uh, obviously I would never do that. You no, know, the point in trying with the dad wasn't invented before I was 50, will die ignorant of it, Wallop. Okay, uh, my mum's like, oh, babe, I can't believe it. I'm gonna get online, it's amazing. And I thought, listen, I'm one, I know I've got quite an aggressive style when I'm on stage, but I'm one of the gentlest, silliest human beings you will ever meet. But those two days where I went to stay at my mum's house to teach her how to use a laptop <laughs> are the closest I have ever come in my life to curling my fist into a tight ball <laughs> and unleashing a punch so hard that it detached her head like in a karate movie. <laughs> um, that's the on button. Which is the on? I don't even know how to switch it on. Of course, the on symbol has been the same since the 70s, you lying middle-aged bastards, right? <laughs> it is a circle with a line through it. You're pretending I can't even switch it on. And really, really, you're enjoying how annoyed we are. You should have seen it, Lynn. The vein appeared in the side of his head. It was classic. Right? <laughs> when you're attempting to teach a middle-aged person how to use a, uh, the PC, and you start to focus on the head itself, I was standing behind it just... Looking at the actual skull, getting annoyed with it. The, an the annoying brown perm just wobbling on its bird neck. Thinking, I could just fucking donkey punch that. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Remind me, Russ, what does a space bar put in a document? Space. Space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? You liars. You're comparing, or, yeah, I bet you're logging on on your Bluetooth. You should have seen what I pretended not to understand today, Lynn. It's classic. <laughs> I pretend I didn't know what number three was. He's, vain. He's coming back, <laughs> logging off. What's the on button, Russ? What does it do? <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to have a short ad break now, but come back because there's going to be more comedy from Carl Donnelly. Hooray! <laughs>